We live in a knowledge society. We do knowledge work. Knowledge is our most important capital. All well and good, but what exactly is knowledge? Many people think of the keyword knowledge or knowledge capital as an available stock of documents or content on the internet, such as Wikipedia. So is our knowledge what we record in documents and databases? No, all this is not yet knowledge, but merely data and information. Knowledge is only created when this data and information is processed by a human mind. This means that they are selected and interpreted and thereby put in relation to individual previous knowledge, own experiences and values. An example. 29, 10, 1929. The sequence of numbers alone is of little use. However, if these data are put into context, the sequence of numbers can be decoded and represents information. In this case, the day of the New York Stock Exchange crash, October 29, 1929. If further information is added now and linked within a specific context of individual experience, knowledge is created. For example, historians can explain causes and effects on subsequent periods and help financial experts to formulate forecasts for the development of the financial markets in times of a crisis. Knowledge is therefore a subjective construction. It is created in the mind. It is thus bound to people. We use knowledge to make rational decisions and to solve tasks and problems. Thus, it is related to action. Knowledge isn't power, but it empowers us. Knowledge enables us to act. Simply explained, knowledge is always between two ears, not between two book covers and not between bit and byte.